People come from across the world to hear the sounds of New Orleans, and quite often that music isn't even in a concert hall. And that's right, as Rob Krieger reports in his latest installment of Locally Tuned, a trio of musicians who met in the streets are now finding some big-time success across the country. Bouncing between the walls of the French Quarter, the spellbinding sounds of New Thousand seduce the ears of people strolling by. He's definitely like the most charismatic and, and enthusiastic and crowd-pleasing performer I've ever worked with. A bewitching bravado that begs those in earshot to break. And I was captivated by his performance, his playing. I felt like it was very evolutionary to the instrument. His canvas, the strings. I recently described myself as an irreverent violinist. But ask Adrian Justanis, the brainchild behind the band New Thousand, what kind of music he plays and just isn't a category. I'm a looping artist that incorporates Mediterranean classical and blues melodies with hip hop and house rhythms, and that's about as specific as I can get. That still doesn't quite define the style Justanis has created, bending the boundaries of a classical instrument and warping a diverse landscape of sounds to create his unique musical voice. I'm taking a little bit from Beethoven, I'm taking a little bit from Dr. Dre, I'm taking a little bit from Greek mountain folk musicians, I'm taking a little bit from Jimi Hendrix. Handed his first violin at six years old, Justanis was classically trained as a child growing up in Columbus, Ohio, where he got an early start as a teen during events in the Arts District. We would play once a month, and it, I would like live for that energy, like I loved it more than any of the show performances that we did. There was just something about people coming there from all walks of life, no stage, there's no separation, anyone can be there. It was this really raw, super exciting experience. But Columbus, Ohio isn't New Orleans. A one hour performance each month didn't fill his desire for that energy, so on his graduation day, he skipped the cap and gown and got on a plane for the streets of New Orleans. I could have this thing that I love so much, that I've loved for years in Ohio, and, and I could do that every day. You know, I could do that every day. His thirst for that crowd could finally be quenched on bourbon and beyond, where his mesmerizing melodies mixed into a collaboration that could take his sound to the next level. I read an article about Adrian before I moved here about being a street musician, and then I did a solo trip here in 2017, and I saw him on the street performing, and I was like, wow, that's super cool. Like, I'd love to meet that dude. It wasn't long after Steve Gilliland, an electronic music producer, made the move to New Orleans too, eventually linking up with Justanis and refining their sound. It was just kind of this immediate chemistry that we had of, of having similar music aesthetics and kind of like similar inspirations. Uh, and it just like really locked in and so we worked together in the studio recording and, and then I started producing for him. A similar story for Mitch Frank, a pianist blindsided by New Thousand's riveting rhythms as well. It completely just stole any other thing in my mind that I wanted to do at the time. I was like, this is the thing. Over the last year, the trio has formed a bigger sound for New Thousand than just Dennis could do alone capturing crowds of giddy visitors moved by their music. Steve will really lay down this really solid, rich beat of bass, different drum effects, sound effects, and then Mitch will come in and just kind of be the glue in between me and Steve and just lay down those, those synth parts to kind of make it come all together. That cohesion is one reason the crowds can't walk away, but often it's just Stannis reeling them from the stage to the sidewalk. Whether it's at a club or out on Bourbon Street especially, like he's just running around and you know, really kind of like plays into when people are, are filming him. He'll just kind of go right up to their smartphone uh, and just play like directly to them. And, and, and yeah, just like has all these like cool little tricks of playing with his teeth and playing behind his head. And it's, and it's just, he's just such an incredible, incredible performer. You always want to give them these little hooks to like stay around a little longer. And so the, the teeth is a hook. The, me playing bass out of my violin is a hook. Smacking the violin is a hook. It was likely one of those hooks that landed the band's biggest fish to date, A-list music festival Okeechobee in Florida. Okeechobee's so surreal. It kind of just like came out of left field. Definitely the biggest opportunity I think this band has had yet. We're really lucky. I mean, we, they put us on the main stage too. I'm just like, whoa. From going from just like, you know, on Bourbon Street and having to like pause when a wedding parade goes by to then playing like 
you know, on the same bill as Earth, Wind & Fire is, is just insane. Yeah, so it's... It's cool. The band isn't quite sure how they landed on the festival's radar, but believe busking paired with a little serendipity did the trick. That's the benefit of playing on Bourbon Street, is you never know who's passing by. From tourists careening through the glowing alleys of the quarter to locals escaping into myriad venues offering their own auditory liberation, New Thousand knows this city is a powder keg for music like theirs. Seems like most people in New Orleans are about 10 seconds away from just spontaneously erupting in song and dance. It's I think it's one of the most seductive cities that you could go to, especially as a creative person. I think without New Orleans, it would be really hard to grow this project. Justanus knows this place has played an integral role in New Thousand Sound. It's why he hopes to deliver what he calls communal joy to the people walking or grooving by as a thanks to a city that shaped their success. I'm certainly far from the first person in New Orleans, particularly, to, to try to do that. Um, but. I'm, I'm happy to, to be in a city that is that prioritizes these sorts of things because I don't think anywhere else really does. Rob Krieger, Fox 8. New Thousand will play tomorrow night in Florida at the Okeechobee Fest. The festival sees close to 30,000 attendees. The group is working on an album, but says in the meantime, you can follow them on social media at New Thousand Band or catch them performing after parties outside the fairgrounds during Jazz Fest weekends.